Hi, my name is Fendi. I'm a physiotherapist here at the Singapore Heart Foundation and today we'll be doing the fitness square exercise. You just need to set up a square around you. As you can see, I've done so with some resistance bands. Just make sure the square is roughly about one meter by one meter or if you feel like it's a bit too far apart, you can make it smaller as well. Okay, just make sure whenever you're doing any form of exercise, to do a complete warm-up where you're warming up the entire body including the upper limbs, lower limbs as well as stretching out the core. Okay, so before we start the exercise, please take note of the precautions on your screen. Now that you're all warmed up, let's begin with the first exercise called the side to side hops. So you'll be hopping in and out of the square. All right, right will be considered as one rep, left will be considered as one rep. For all these exercises, we'll be doing two sets of 10 reps. All right, let's begin. We'll start in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that was the end of the first set of the side to side hop exercise. Now that we've rested after our first set, let's get ready for the second set. We'll begin in three, Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that was the end of the side to side hops in and out of the square. This next exercise is the forward and back hops, which is very similar to the exercise that we just did before, just that we're hopping forward of the square and backwards of the square. All right, doesn't matter which leg you use to hop in and out of the square, as long as you complete the movement, that's still counted as one rep. All right, let's begin in three, Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was the end of the first set of the forwards and backwards hop. Right, now that we've rested after our first set, let's begin with the second set of the forwards and backwards hop. Right, we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that was the end of the forwards and backwards hop exercise. Right, so for our next exercise, we'll be doing more lunging as opposed to hopping, okay? So we start with the side-to-side -side lunge, okay? 
kind of like a shuffle whereby you step one foot out, go into a lunge, bring the feet together, back in, lunge, back together, and that's one rep of the exercise. So we'll be doing five, five, okay, to do the 10 reps. Okay, so we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And that was the end of the first set of the side to side lunges in and out of the box. Now that we've rested after our first set, let's go and do our second set of the side to side lunges in and out of the box. Alright, let's begin in three. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that was the end of the side to side lunges in and out of the box. For our next exercise, we'll be doing the forward lunges and backwards lunges in and out of the square. So similar to what we did in the previous exercise where we lunged side to side, now we'll just be doing front and back. Again, same thing with the hops. It doesn't really matter which leg goes in and out. It's just making sure you lunge far enough out of the square and lunging backwards far enough out of the square to count as one rep. All right, when we're ready, we're going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was the end of the first set of the forward lunge and backwards lunge. Now that we've rested after our first set, let's get ready for our second set of the forward and backwards lunge in and out of the square. We're going to start in 3, 2, 1, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that was the end of the forwards and backwards lunging in and out of the square exercise. For our next and final exercise, we'll be doing a marching around the square. All right, make sure you have enough space between the square and yourself. All right, and making sure you're going around the entire square. So for this part, we'll be going forward. For the front one, we'll be going to the side and vice versa, okay? So this is how you march around the square. Clockwise. Okay. 
today. So that was clockwise and we'll also be doing the anti-clockwise direction. Like so. Alright, so that's how you do the actual exercise itself. So for the first set, we'll be doing five clockwise rounds. And then for the second set, we're we'll doing five anti-clockwise rounds. Alright? So let's begin in three, two, one, let's go. That's one. That's two. Three. That's four. And five. And that was the end of the first set of the marching around the square. Now that we've rested after the first set, let's do our second set for the marching around the square exercise. Since we went clockwise for the first set, we'll be doing anti-clockwise for our second set. Let's begin in 3, 2, 1, let's go! One. That's two. That's three. and five and that was the end of the marching around the square exercise now that we've finished all our five exercises for the fitness square workout please make sure that you do a cool down including stretching all of the muscles that we used for the entire workout, including your lower limb muscles, trunk muscles, as well as shoulder muscles, okay, in order to make sure we don't get any injuries and making sure we actually loosen up ourselves back up again. All right. Every single time you do an exercise, please make sure to rehydrate yourself after the workout and make sure that if there's any pain whatsoever, all right, to stop the movements at all. Okay. I hope everyone enjoyed the workout and. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.